Hey buddy, looks into swirl here. We are going to try another go big or go home painting. <laughs> I have uh, two ice cube trays, courtesy of Dollar Tree. I have not only connected them here in the middle, but I have braced them on the back so they won't, you know, if I pick it up, they won't collapse. They'll stay like this. This is going to be very similar to my egg carton pour. I will link to that below. And I will also link to the first one I saw that gave me the idea to try it. And that was from Erica Art. She's amazing. I will link to that video of hers below. But these, I noticed these uh, compartments in the ice cube tray are different sizes and hold different amounts of paint, obviously. So this should be kind of interesting. We're gonna put paint in everything but the outer two on each side because I want the paint to stay on the canvas. I have a 20 by 16 inch black canvas from Michaels. So we need approximately 20 ounces of paint and we are gonna end up with, well, we'll end up with plenty of paint here. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, 12, 24. And uh, the smaller compartments do not hold a full ounce. The larger ones do. So it'll, it'll end up being around 20 ounces. It should work fine. I am going to use every paint I have mixed up with the exception of the neons because for some reason I don't understand neon paint tends to disappear when it dries on black canvases. I, I don't get what's going on there. I don't understand the chemistry of it, but it shows up gorgeous when it's wet and then when it dries it, it's like it just it just disappears so i am i am gonna oh boy uh i should probably run through the colors but honestly they're like a gazillion here so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put them in i'm gonna try and do something different on each side so we end up with kind of two things going on here i was going to try to to keep them separate and do you know one and then do the other but i think i think this may be more interesting <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, it's nice and heavy now. Well, this should be interesting. That is pretty darn cool looking. What do you think, folks? Pretty darn cool. Yeehaw! All right. And now we tilt.
See if I can get rid of that giant blob of red up in that right corner there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna start getting some mud here with the yellows and purples, so I'm just gonna stop. I'm happy with this as it is. I think that looks super cool. Super cool. Ooh. Okay, let me clean up my hands. We'll go in for our close up. Okay, let's do our close up. Here is the bottom right corner along the lower edge. Bottom left corner, up the left side, to the upper left corner, across the top. to the upper right corner, and down the right side. I love this area. Ooh, the purples and blues, gorgeous. And back to the lower right. And there's the entire piece. What do you think, folks? Have you tried anything this oversized. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.